Welcome back everyone. So today is National Catfish Day and we got to celebrate a little bit earlier when the Lost Cajun stopped by yesterday. Yep, here's a look at some of their classic dishes and some tips on how you can make them at home. All right, well, I really wish that we had smell vision If y'all could smell this, you would be ready to eat some catfish. Oh, my gosh, this is awesome. Now, I'm, I'm not a big catfish eater, but, I mean, so far it smells really good. Yeah. <laughs> and I know a lot of people are crazy about catfish. So I love catfish. I want to know what this is all about. <laughs> so, uh, today is actually National Catfish Day, in case you didn't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, it has a day. Um, right now, we are uh, cooking up our blackened catfish. Mm -hmm. um, we're from the Lost Cajun Restaurant, and so uh, that's one of our most... Uh, popular dishes of our sauteed ones. It is uh, two uh, catfish fillets that we blacken. I put mm -hmm. on uh, about a seasoned rice with um, some veggies and then uh, it's real light on the stomach, but it's delicious. Oh man. So is oil and seasoning, that's it? Yeah, oil and blackening seasoning. That's all we uh, use to blacken it. It's, um, you know, Chef here, he's mm -hmm. uh, been cooking about five minutes or so mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, mm -hmm. it's about ready. Uh, about ready. We have a, several different uh, catfish dishes yeah. um, at our restaurant. We have uh, up here we have our catfish po' boy. It's a fried option. Oh, uh, yeah. Can't go mm -hmm. wrong with fried catfish. Po boy. Yeah, or po' boy. No, uh -huh. that's, uh, yeah, what's a po' boy? I always hear about that. Now, po' boy can be catfish or um, shrimp or anything like that. It can be catfish, like shrimp. Mm -hmm. uh, we oyster. have an oyster po' boy. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a... Is it referring uh, to the bread then? Yep, yeah, so okay, a po' boy, a true po' boy oh, is on okay. uh, crispy French bread. Yeah. And that's uh, that's what makes a po' boy. It's got to be that tip. crispy French bread and mm -hmm. um, being put on mm -hmm. either like a, a remoulade sauce or tartar on there. And, Fantastic. Uh, it, uh, it has a great little, a uh, great sandwich. So. We need to talk about these seasonings because this is not your regular seasoning. What goes into making them? Because as soon as the chef put them, put the seasoning in the vegetables, mm -hmm. This aroma that just came out, that yeah. was just, it was ridiculous. I, I couldn't even, I was like, can I get in there now? <laughs> I know. I know how the segment hasn't missing, started, but I really not. wanted to get in there, and I already went in there. So tell us about that, Chef. Tell us about these wonderful seasonings and what goes in, in there. Can well, you give us that's, that's a little bit of a trade secret, secret there. Oh, yeah. uh, come on, Chef. <laughs> but you can buy them. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. we, we definitely make them available for the public. Uh, uh, we have our own season, our own hot sauce. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and our own blackening uh, blend. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we, we marriage it throughout a lot of the menu. Um, I like the names too. Like yep, for we instance, have, what is mm -hmm. it called? Yeah, our swamp salt. Swamp salt. Yeah, and we have swamp our hot salt. sauce here. <laughs> now, now, where, now, where are y'all located? Uh, we have two locations. One is on Pelham Road. That's the one uh, most people know about it. Uh, it's been there about four years. Yeah. Can um, we start uh, them? In that Earth Fair uh, <laughs> shopping center. Okay, um, then we just opened one this past November, downtown Greenville, directly ah. across from the Mass General Store. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it... Um, not too far from Seven on Main. I know. We might oh, have yeah, to come no. and visit. Oh, you put a little bit of lemon in there? Is that oh, what that is? A little bit of Worcestershire. Oh, yeah. Worcestershire. Okay. And also, you have another offering as well, um, which is... The oysters, yep. right? Yep, so uh, oh. new to our downtown location, uh, we have raw oysters and we have uh, char-grilled oysters. Could you see, bring them the, over here so that yeah. we can maybe put them over here and they, they can have that overhead our, shot yeah. so they can see? Oh yeah, look there's at our char-grilled oysters. It is, the director uh, could take the overhead shot. Of even, look at that. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Is they're, that they're delicious. Every Thursday we have them oh. on special. It's a dollar <laughs> per raw oyster, a dollar fifty char grilled oyster oh, wow. all day on Thursdays. You know, it's, so. a, it's a good time for people to go somewhere where it's not just you know your your regular run of the mill food. I mean, it, it's, yeah. it's got that spice, that Cajun spice. No, it's, you know? it's unique cuisine, and you can't really find uh, authentic. Uh, Louisiana uh, cooking too often uh, yeah. in most places, and so yeah. it, uh, uh, we definitely do it right. And so. Well, right. unfortunately, right. we're wrapping it up. They want us to wrap it up, but we need to taste that yeah. and oh, let, yeah. let the folks know. Give it our, give it our know. stamp of approval. Yeah, give it our stamp of approval. Sure it tastes okay. So. That catfish looks great, and I'm used to eating it fried, dipping it in tartar sauce, oh. you know, but that looks really so good. Yeah, well, we right have uh, our traditional plates, which are Thank you. fried, um, but got little that tongs black going on and catfish is. Oh, yeah. Let's take a little piece of yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Catfish. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let y'all know how that tastes. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's good. Mmm. Hey, y'all. Today it makes you want to do a really dance. Good. Yep. So today's yeah. National Catfish Day. So y'all come on mm. to the Lost Cave. Happy Cajun. National Catfish Day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much.